What's up everybody? Good to see you again. I got a real quick thing I want to give you a little update on. A lot of people have had a couple issues and I want to jump into something that can help you out real quick. Get you back going. Stop asking all those silly questions over and over again that I think are pretty easy to take care of. All right, so basically everyone has an issue because things are updating sometimes. But every once in a while your node starts and stops and maybe it doesn't come back online after it stops and everyone kind of gets the freak out face and doesn't know what to do so thought i would show you real quick a couple simple steps to take care of that get your node back going all right so obviously pre-search nodes are still in testnet however the staking is about to increase to 2000 right now it's only a thousand and that happens on october 8th today is october 2nd so again, October 8th, it's going to go from 2,000 pre-search tokens instead of one, all right? Sucks, right? Well, that's the game, all right? You've got to be early on nodes. Next thing is, some of you having nodes that are shutting off and shutting on, and you get a little panicky, and you don't know what to do because they're doing testnet stuff, they're checking gateways, they're doing different things, updates, that kind of stuff. Sometimes the nodes don't come back online. So first things first we need to know is go to our Rack Nerd, uh, our actual Rack Nerd dashboard, click on your account click on your account click on services that are running maybe you have one maybe you have 300 i don't really know but either way scroll down until you get this screen here now real simple if you first thing you do and you see this says online right here for me right now but if this ever says offline obviously your vps is down for some reason okay simply reboot give it two three five minutes and then boot once you do that this graph will start to turn blue and green again what you'll notice is if this is off of line none of this will be up here it won't be any blue green right here okay it'll just be blank so reboot wait a couple minutes click boot wait a couple minutes you'll see it come back online you'll see it start running again that's the simple the simple first step all right real world application here for you right here on the top not connected see that fair enough not connected now i'm gonna pull up putty i'm gonna put my basic ip address and my basic password back in and we're gonna go into this and stop it and restart it all over again plus we're gonna check the log see how it works fair enough fair enough let's get into it all right remember this is what it'll look like in your email that has your password and vps number in it okay you're gonna need this this is what you're gonna put in putty so that you can actually pull up your you can pull up your pull up your putty pull up your root access and actually check your node these are your this is your key right here you're going to need your password and your vps number all right and here we go all in one shot putty pulled up i'm going to log in as root my password it asked me for i've got it over here again you won't be able to see this i'm just going to copy right click on the cursor it's already in there hit enter pulls it up now here are our simple instructions for everyone to use okay we have we have five of them here but we're gonna start I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna move this one down to the bottom here copy backspace paste <clears throat> this is our stop this is our stop instructions this is our start instructions so we're gonna put all of them in okay we'll start with our stop ones copy right click enter Okay, ran it. I got my root test cursor back up. Let's do the next one, which is stop pre-search auto updater. If I copy, right click, enter. Same thing, right back up to root test. Now we're gonna start it again, manually. Okay, right click, copy, right click, enter. That went really quick, didn't it? Already got our root test stuff back up. Now we're gonna do our Docker start pre-search node. What does that sound like to you? Sounds like we're trying to start our node back, right? All right, we're gonna right click, hit enter. And guess what, folks? You've restarted your node. So now what we wanna do is go back to our pre-search dashboard and see did it start. Then we're gonna put our last code in and see if we get the blue P back up, okay? Back to our dashboard. Nothing yet. Let's refresh. Oh, it's not there anymore. I know good and well it's on the third page. Ah, here we go. We got our green plug back up. That was in real time. That took less than 30 seconds, okay? Now, let's go put our last code in on Putty and see does 
our information pop back up so that all right here we are got our green cursor got our start stop stuff done now i'm going to put the very last code in right here docker logs dash f pre-search node copy right click enter blue p you're good to go once the blue p pops up you are good to go so now go check our dashboard one more time make sure everything's kosher and that's it we've stopped and started and fixed our node that was disconnected that wasn't that complicated at all was it this video is going to be around five minutes i think that's excellent yep we're still good to go let's give it a refresh perfect everything's good to go now so let's take a, a a brief overview here of what we did we had a node up here with no connectivity on it we put in our simple codes right here these five it's all you needed and it only took a couple clicks after that we checked our putty put our last code in we got the blue p back up and we were good to go before that we went to our dashboard on our servers and we restarted it because that was the first step just to make sure it was working if it was offline we restarted it maybe it wasn't offline maybe it just had a sync issue or something i don't know whatever we just simply restarted it and booted it back up then we went in and put our codes in and we're good to go now okay all of our nodes are up and running and we're doing great all right so that's pretty much it you see me editing the video here we're all finished i wanted to talk about two things number one um we got another video coming out in a day or two uh because there's gonna be some cool updates to the rack nerd site whenever you buy something uh whenever you buy this particular uh, particular vps you're gonna be able to make your make your purchase a little bit more easy so it won't be quite so much confusion uh and number two remember testnet is going to be over soon we'll be on mainnet and we will be at 2,000 tokens per node to stake not 1,000 any longer it's going to cost twice as much so if you're going to get in you better get in now that way you don't have to pay twice as much for a node right now it's around 300 bucks for a node it's going to be 600 to 700 soon so attention get in get in early all right all right so from me from rack nerd from anthony from da uh, from david thank everybody appreciate you guys watching we'll get this video put up online here pretty, here pretty quick we'll get it on youtube for everyone to see i'll shoot it over to anthony i'll shoot it over to david so they can share it around as well because everyone asked the same question so anything else you guys need give me a comment if you need to email me or whatever if you can uh, i have telegram and stuff that i can give to you properly i don't give that telegram out because y'all just bombard me but <laughs> uh, i am available i try to answer every question i can so i'll see you guys on another video we have one coming out in a day or two like i said Till then, y'all, be good. Peace.